This historic hearing on D.C. statehood has brought hundreds to the House, and not even a packed room could stop them from seeing it. The Confederate monument right behind me has been covered and fenced off to prevent any destruction or vandalism to the monument. As of today, the city of Virginia Beach now is the authority to remove or relocate the monument, an act that many are calling for amid the Black Lives Matter movement. Spectators have come from all over the country to see the national Christmas tree, but there is more to see than just the 30-foot tree. Politicians, colleagues, and the general public gathered under the same roof this morning to celebrate the life of late Representative Elijah Cummings. District of Columbia tried District of Champions. You know it was a stunning comeback. The Washington Nationals became the third D.C. team to take home a trophy in the last 16 months after they beat out the Houston Astros in Game 7 of the World Series. Hundreds waited in line to pay their respects and honor Baltimore's son, Elijah Cummings. This is an honor to see all these people out here. The week's activities for the late representative finished this morning with a funeral service at New Psalmist Baptist Church. He was a... Uh faithful member of New Psalms for many years. And he was faithful to his constituents in the city of Baltimore. I wanted to just appreciate all of the good things this man has done for this country. Politicians, colleagues, and the general public gathered under the same roof this morning to celebrate the life of late Representative Elijah Cummings. Inside the church, those closest to him gave personal speeches about the man they knew and loved. His wife was one of those who spoke. He was a man of soul and spirit. He felt very deeply. He was very empathetic. It was one of his greatest gifts. Former President Barack Obama delivered a message so moving, the audience erupted in applause. There's nothing weak about being honorable. You're not a sucker to have integrity and to treat others with respect. He's going to be greatly missed. In Baltimore, Bridget Divers, CNS TV. <laughs> Cheers erupted from Nationals Park as 16,000 fans watched the Nationals win their first World Series. The city feels electric. I've been up since about 4 o'clock this morning, couldn't sleep. Not just because she was excited, but this win was personal. 2017, actually, because I'm a breast cancer survivor, in 2017, I was picked by Major League Baseball and the Nationals to be an honorary Batgirl, which meant I got to throw out a first pitch at a Nationals game. And fans such as Mike Brown have been there for the Nationals since day one. I've been waiting 15 years for this. I was at the very first game the Nats had here in D.C. There have been a lot of superstitions about why the Nationals have come this far. For Mike Brown, it's not superstition. It's divine intervention. He attributes this historical win to his late father, who passed away in August. I figured he was up there talking to the big guy because he was two years old when the last time they were in the World Series and lost to 33. And he passes away and what happens? They win the World Series, so go figure. Others may dispute whether this win was a gift from a higher being, but for one man, it is a gift of a lifetime. I took my parents to the World Series, which was one of their dreams, you know, because they grew up being Senators fans from Arlington. And so I want to frame a picture of us at the World Series and the ticket and all that stuff, put it together with a picture of the Nationals celebrating and give it to them as Christmas present. A sea of red, white, and blue line the hall as the hearing for D.C. statehood begins. D.C. Mayor Muriel Bowser forefronts the issue for her constituents. You're too small, they say but we're bigger by population than two states, bigger than all states but Oklahoma at the time they were admitted to the union. And what's more, we pay more federal taxes per capita than any state. This historic hearing on D.C. statehood has brought hundreds to the House, and not even a packed room could stop them from seeing it. In Maryland, there are federal properties throughout the Just outside, a crowd has gathered to watch the hearing unfold. I'm here because I was born in D.C. I was born uh, without a vote, without representation, and I refuse to die without representation. Janice George is a strong supporter of D.C. statehood. We want to make sure that what we care about and what we vote for actually is effectuated in our city. And she's not alone on this issue. Newcomer to the district, Heather Ann Irons, has the same stance on this issue. 
I'm proud of DC and I'm proud of the history of DC and so even if I have to fight for this thing, um, I still think it's worth fighting for. And they are fighting for something that our country once fought for. No taxation without representation. On Capitol Hill, Bridget Divers, CNS TV.